spared from Hurricane Irene. And right after the devastation and the topsoil washed away and the onions were all flooded and rotten and the greenhouses were eroded and washed downstream, right after that, who came along behind with a big check? Yeah. Just who you think. So when, when agriculture is on the edge, when agriculture is not able to be prosperous, when the big policy of this country is to produce, produce corn for export, corn for soda, low quality hay for the vista of nice gentry, when the policy of this country doesn't allow for a prosperous agriculture, that's when mining can come. That's when drilling can come. It's a big problem. It may take us 25 years, but I don't think we have more than 25 years. January 11th. You have until January 11th to make your voice heard to the DEC. Say something. Please, write to them. I was at the forum on Thursday, Thursday night. It ran over against hydrofracking. It ran over an hour. It was supposed to be from 6 to 9. There were so many people. Between the morning forum and the night one, there was almost 6,000 people. Woo! Almost 600 speakers. And there were a lot of letters from the DEC who they do not have enough people to regulate. There was a person who was made a film and talked about how he took his truck and his camera along almost 30 miles of the river, of which it was just all slush and nothing was alive. And one of the wonderful, th and there was uh, lawyers and architects and et cetera, et cetera. And uh, one of the great things that, that I like people were saying was that they were pointing the finger at Cuomo and said, okay, you can either be somebody who's going to be the leader in getting this hydrofracking out because it is not cost effective, it's old technology, or, or if you vote for it, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're telling everybody. And so basically, if you have up to 6,000 people there, including young people and organizations, people from, from, from New School and Cooney and SUNY and, and, and people coming uh, and pregnant and farmers and everything, if you have that many people there, uh, I think we need to double that. So if they're saying, we're watching you, Cuomo, I think we have to call and say the same thing. We're watching you. It's election time. So it's kind of like, I like the fact that it was putting it that we're in the power and we're saying we should not be telling, uh, we should not be trying to convince you about this. You should be convincing us and of course you can't convince us. So that's what I'm saying, let's put the power in our hands and, and, and they've extended it to January. Call, keep on, keep on, say, we're, we know, we, we're watching you. And that's it, we're watching you. A few more minutes on Friday.